Let's rock, baby. <laughs> Let's rock, baby. What's up, universe? And welcome to the web's first musty comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the comic universe. I'm Dr. J, and I'm riding solo on this video. I've got a PhD in nerd culture, and I should know. I printed it out myself. You know, for somebody who says, I'm not that much of a hardcore gamer, I've done more videos on video games on this channel than I have on my main channel. That's crazy. But I am here with you guys to bring you a review of a game that I have been waiting a long time for and then of course as you can tell by the intro Devil May Cry 5 I know what you're saying but Jay you put the Devil May Cry 1 intro into the beginning of the video why is that well the reason for that is because Devil May Cry 5 had the perfect balance of nostalgia and new gameplay that just makes you feel exactly the same way you felt as a kid playing the first Devil May Cry game because it is just that good. Now, this review will contain spoilers, so you have been warned. I am going to talk about, you know, different story elements of the game and uh, go into detail there. So if you haven't played this game and you are a Devil May Cry fan, you are doing yourself as a service. Go get the game as soon as you can. Then once you experience it for yourself, be sure to come back here and tell us your thoughts and feels in the comments down below. But in case you're just cool with spoilers or you finished the game and you want to hear what I thought about it, I absolutely loved Devil May Cry 5. So, DMC4 was a great game, but I feel like as fun as Nero and his Devil Buster were, it felt like he was just trying too hard to be Dante, and Nero wasn't quite his own character yet, so like, it had its own, it had its own flaws here and there uh, in terms of uh, that game, and the fact that we uh, just repeated bosses with no changes at all to the bosses when you did them the second time in DMC4. Uh, it gave it kind of this repetitive feel. And the fact that you just had to play the game backwards uh, when you did the whole Dante portion of it uh, made it feel repetitive. Uh, but this game, not only do they flush Nero out as a character a lot more by giving him more backstory and like we learn more about his past and his connections to... Dante, Sparta, and the whole mythos, uh, but we also get some fresh new gameplay, and I gotta say, man, the thing about Devil May Cry that makes it so interesting is how cool it is, because Devil May Cry has always been a game that is focused, li like, literally focused on style. Style points and the style system were uh, a thing that Devil May Cry pioneered. And the thing that's cool about Devil May Cry is once you get good at it and you learn the combos, you can do some really nasty stuff with it. Uh, and it like really rewarded you for uh, taking the time and investing in like learning how to do different combos with different weapons and figuring out different like loadouts to give you specific moves to be able to take out enemies and stuff like that. Um, with this game, I feel as though it takes what we had in 4, which was, you know, more accessible to new players, but also uh, kind of made it a little too easy for anyone who's used to the series. Uh, 5 takes that, and it makes it new player friendly, but also it gives us a lot of room for anyone who is returning to the series to really be able to flex their muscles and learn the game. Now granted, a lot of it is like muscle memory, so you gotta like play off of what you remember from like the previous games. So it gets a little difficult at times, but once you get back into the groove, it is just 
so smooth and the different gameplay options are amazing. They give you the new mechanic of, I believe it's called the Devil Breaker, uh, uh, Nero's new devil arms because of the fact that his arm is stolen um, towards the beginning of the game, his trademark devil buster, uh, which I think is interesting. Um, plus, we get some new members to the cast uh, in Nico, our resident kind of blacksmith who makes our devil arms and um, apparently is the direct descendant of the woman who made Dante's uh, the ebony and ivory. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, I, I think she's a really fun character. I, I love the dynamics between the cast and all the different stuff. Uh, she's a really nice addition. Uh, Nero himself, uh, he gets a lot more character development than he than just being some emo punk trying to be cool. We find out more about his past. We get official confirmation that Virgil is indeed Nero's father, and uh, that's why he was able to wield Yamato. So that's pretty dope. And we get to see uh, Virgil actually show up again in Devil May Cry in the form of V and then eventually he merges back with Virgil and we have some epic fight scenes between Dante and Virgil once again bringing us back that DMC3 vibe which DMC3 you know to a lot of fans myself included uh is the best Devil May Cry game of the series uh, up to this point, I feel like 5, it may be early on, but I feel as though 5 is the best uh, DMC game so far because it takes the polish of 3 and takes it to a whole new level. Um, it really feels like the end of the chapter for the Sons of Sparta, aka Dante and Virgil, and really solidly actually passes this torch off to Nero as the main character. I feel like uh, with DMC4, they were still kind of hesitant on uh, passing the reins to Nero, which is why you had the section with Dante and why Nero kind of felt like a Dante imitation at first. Now, Nero really does feel like his own character with his own motivations, um, his own personality, and his own ideology. So I feel like fans of the series who may have been hesitant on Nero in DMC4 may actually grow to really like him in DMC5. Plus, his gameplay is so smooth. The variability in the Devil Arms with the Devil Breaker uh, is amazing. You get some classic weapons from DMC3 for Dante, and my god... When you actually get to play as Dante, Dante is probably the best part of the game. His freaking weapon loadout and his style changes, oh, it is it's always such a joy to play as Dante. I cannot believe how fluid this game is. And there are so many homages to the previous DMC games, the last three missions in general are homages to DMC3, DMC4, and DMC1. I don't think in that order, but I know I want to say the last three missions, the first one was a DMC1 homage, then D then the DMC4 um, homage in uh, the second to last mission, and then the final mission was a straight up DMC3 homage with the Dante vs. Virgil fight, and then Nero having to go up against Virgil. And they even incorporated the cooler parts of that reboot that nobody wants to talk about uh, with Virgil by adding like, doppelganger function into his combo set. So that's really cool. My only real downside to this game, and this is just more of like a story nitpick, uh, we don't get to see that much of Lady and Trish who are two of my favorite characters, probably more so Lady than Trish. Trish is awesome and all, but Lady definitely has a lot more weight to her character, um, especially because, again, DMC3 is one of the best games in the series, if not 
the best game, not including this one. And I don't really think I can count this one yet since it's so early. Um, but definitely, uh, I wish we could have seen more of Lady and Trish. Maybe we'll get some Lady and Trish DLC. I'd be totally down for that. Um, I really enjoyed the story of Devil May Cry uh, 5. Um, it really tied up the loose ends of the like the saga um, and feels like it's the end of Dante's story at least for now um, and it ends on a really good note with him and Virgil um, finally kind of acknowledging each other as brothers and working together for a common goal so I think that's pretty dope and like I said it's really cool um, that they finally flushed out Nero and made him his own character so I feel like he is stable enough to carry 6 on his own now if they do decide to go for Devil May Cry 6. And personally, I would love it if, like, say, Devil May Cry 6 takes place 10 years after the events of Devil May Cry 5 um, in-game. And we get, like, a God of War type situation where Nero is raising his own son and teaching him about hunting demons. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, like I said, the gameplay is amazing. All the different devil arms, the uh, variability in enemies, the dope-ass enemy designs, the bombastic colors. I love all the level designs. Um, no nothing is too difficult, per se, but it's also not one of those games where you can just breeze through it. Um, I love the combo ability that you get when you really try to experiment with mixing weapons. It's not just a button master game. You really do have to work on combos, and I like that a lot. Um, there's just so much replay value in this game. I cannot praise it enough. Um, I don't want to go on too long, or I'm just going to start like repeating points. But personally, I think if you are a Devil May Cry fan, this is definitely worth investing in you will definitely get uh some bang for your buck that is for sure uh but let me know what did you guys think of dmc5 are you a devil may cry fan are you finally happy that after that poor lackluster reboot that they gave us a true blue sequel to one of our favorite capcom franchises uh let me know in the comments down below don't forget to join the universe today by hitting that subscribe button and uh Blast in the like button as much as you can. I hit the um. Be sure to join us. Uh, we've got a bunch of big uh, giveaways coming up. Like I said, for uh, Detective Comics issue a thousand, for hitting that big milestone, we're gonna do a uh, giveaway of that just to um, match our Action Comics one thousand giveaway as well. We got a bunch of good prizes for that, so be on the lookout for that particular giveaway. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know all your thoughts and feels about Devil May Cry 5 in the comments down below. As always, like I said, don't forget to devil trigger that like button. And uh, hit that subscribe button and join the universe today. All our social media is in the description down below. This is Jay from Mr. Age Reviews for the Comic Universe. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time in the universe.